All right, so the last time y'all was here, we spoke on facing your fears and taking risks to succeed. Today, I want to talk about using your losses to learn. Using your losses as an opportunity to learn from, to win, you feel me? Use losses as a chance to adapt your strategy for the next time you attempt whatever it is. If you shoot a basketball and it goes a little bit to the left, you know next time you after you get that rebound, you spot up. You gonna shoot next time. First thing you gonna say to yourself is, I right, mean, let me aim it to the right a little bit more, or let me you know say, let me sit there, sit there a little bit more. Whether you miss or make that shot, after you get that rebound again, you get in that position again to shoot another shot. You're gonna make another small adjustment so that you can hopefully make that next shot. Same thing go with life. Keep making small adjustments when you lose to win. If you lose, make a small minor adjustment to either win or lose next time. And if you lose again, take another small adjustment, tweak it a little bit, see what the result is after that, and so on and so forth. Make small adjustments to your game plan and come back harder. Make sure you win. Like I said, realizing is the first step to your turning point. But sometimes you might not realize why you lost. Sometimes you might have to get feedback from others. Sometimes other people's analysis on your actions may be what you need to hear. If you want to win and have the vast majority support you and support what you got going on, why not have that vast majority give you feedback on what they want to see? Now, if you're really an independent person like me, you might not want to accept feedback sometimes. You might be stubborn. It might be hard for you to accept feedback at times, especially when you feel so passionately about something or when you just have passion in you for whatever it is, especially if it's about your craft, you know? But again, if you want the vast majority to support you and support what you got going on, you have to take opinions. Or you have to take feedback from either the vast majority or most people, you know? You got to get a couple of people opinions on whatever it is, whether it's a thumbnail, whether it's a new song, whether it's how you did hair or something like that, you gotta get majority opinion on it. You have to listen, you have to shut the fuck up sometimes and just listen to feedback, you know? And just take it into consideration no matter what it is. Sometimes you may have expected higher growth, so you set a higher goal and you don't achieve it necessarily. But it's nothing wrong with reevaluating your goal or and setting a smaller goal or having to push back the time frame for your goal, really. As long as you know you worked your ass off to achieve that goal and you passionately put effort into everything that you did, every little video what it was, everything you did for that goal, and you just came up a little bit short off of it, that's perfectly fine, that's okay. What's not okay is if you, one, don't have a goal, and two, if you not working towards your goal, you're sitting down, you sleeping on your goal, you sitting on your potential. That's what's worse than anything. You sitting on your potential. Come on now. Real shit, it be feeling like I be flying through these videos now because I be knowing what I be wanting to say so I could just like, you know, fluently say it. Rather than the first video, it took me a little bit longer to say what I had to say. But if you got to this point, let me know. One, the loss you recently learned the lesson from in the comment section. And um, yeah, on that note, make sure y'all leave a like, sub, comment, and I'll catch on the next vids.